title defence and obviously it was a, a bit of a war but you showed your dominance. How are you feeling about the performance? I feel good, you know, I didn't get the didn't get the finish, kind of bummed out about that. I'm sure I'll be happy, you know, once I settle down and watch the fight itself, but uh, didn't get the finish. And look, you knew, obviously, Cheeto would be tough. He's never been finished before. I know it was your goal, but as much as the knockouts are nice, getting those five rounds in where you, you know, you're picking your shots, you are a sniper. Can you, like you say, you've got to watch it back, but can you take something from that and be proud of that, obviously? Yeah, I think uh, once, I, once I watch it back, I'll be a lot more happy, I think, without played out, but very sore, tired. It's been a long week, you know. Uh, overall, I'm, happy. I'm very happy, but again, just not quite as exciting after I've knocked so many people out. Of course, but being your first title defence, I know you're used to all the media, you've always been the star that you are, but was there an extra level to that now coming into this fight as the champ? Um, no, I didn't feel like it was any different than any other fight. You know, it's five rounds, obviously, so that's going to probably be the, you know, the same from now on, but it just feels like another fight, really. And that last shot, I mean, it looked like you sat down in pain at the end. It was probably one of the best shots from Tito all night. How's the body feeling? Yeah, he, he had a good body shot. Tim told me, he's like, yo, you're, you're winning the fight, you don't need to fucking try to put his lights out and I had to I had a you know I want to stay stand there and bang but in reality I probably should have let that one go uh, he, did, he landed a good shot at the end and you could feels good I'm just a little sore I think I'm just a little extra cautious but uh, I think I'm all right very very surprised the uh, knee I landed in the, I think the second round and then another Hard, hard shot in the fifth round. Very surprised he didn't go down. Yeah, I mean, I, it, it could be anybody, but you know, the most exciting one to me sounded like Elia. That's kind of just what, what happened, but it could be anybody. He just, I mean, if you watched him his last couple fights, knocked out Volkanovski, he's just a, you know. Scary dude. Would you go to Spain or would you rather have that on Spears? Spear would be cool. Spain would be insane. Anywhere. I don't care. So you'd go up to 145 for that and then business would be done there? You'd come back down to 135? Are you talking about maybe making a move up at some point? No, I would. I mean, if, if, it, if it happened, I'd go to 45, come back down to 35. How nice was it having a camp where you were healthy? Because you said going into the Aljo fight, the body felt, you know, the body didn't feel 100%. You said this time everything went to plan. Yeah, it's crazy, like, thinking about how that fight against uh, Aljo played out, not having a good camp, still put his lights out. Then I have, like, a beautiful camp, perfect camp for uh, Cheeto, and, and they went all five. It's crazy how those play out. I, you know, I was assuming it was going to be as tough as it was. You know, I, I planned on it being 5-5, five, five, planned on it being 25 minutes. Uh, you know, I took it very, very serious, and it was that hard. Did you feel any moment that you were kind of close to that? Multiple times I thought I was about to put his lights out, but, you know, just he was, he was still, still there. It was insane. Miami's crazy. The people, it was... You know, so much fun. But yeah, it was incredible. One of the questions that everybody has is how are you going to do in the championship round? Now, because not only did you pass that test, but you also have the highest outside I believe in your career, like 9.2 significant fights per minute. So, what was it like to prove that to everybody? Yeah, I mean, it's. I, I need to watch it back. 25 minutes of fighting. I don't even know which hap what happened too often. I'd like to, you know, go watch it and, and be able to talk about that after I watch it. Marab was there as well, front row, and it's sort of been touted that he will be the next opponent after he finished Henry Cejudo. I know you were there for his fight. What did you make of Marab's performance? Yeah, I mean, Marab, I mean, you know, whooped on Henry. Um, very, it could be, that could be a fun fight. What do the celebrations and time off look like for you now? Um, it's, it's hard to say. It just depends on how serious these little injuries are. These could just be, you know, just be swollen, but well, it just depends on how I feel. Congratulations, Sean. Thank you.